हेलो वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टॉर्सलीज थ्योरम सो यू सी द टॉर्सलीज हियर आई हैव रिटन टॉर्सलीज थ्योरम टॉर्सलीज वाज एक्चुअली अ साइंटिस्ट हु टोल्ड दैट द वेलोसिटी ऑफ एफ्लक्स वेलोसिटी ऑफ एफ्लक्स मींस द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द लिक्विड कमिंग आउट ऑफ एन कंटेनर फ्रॉम एन ऑफिस दैट मींस अ फाइन होल इज इक्वल टू द वेलोसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड फॉलिंग फ्रीली अंडर द ग्रेविटी so now our students we are we going to prove this so look at this page first of all here is a container you see that is a fine hole here somewhere and the liquid is coming out of it like this you know like the liquid is comes out the liquid comes out of this with a velocity small v right now this container is filled with a liquid of density rho and the atmospheric pressure applied from the top is p atm and also you know that because both faces this uh, the the front and the hole both are open to the atmosphere that's why the pressure at both the points will be equal and that will be equal to the atmospheric pressure so that means i have also write i can also write here p atm now you know that uh, from the bernoulli's principle we know that the total sum of the energy per unit volume is always constant for any liquid so we going to apply the bernoulli's theorem with the help of that we will prove the torsley's theorem too now you see if we if we talk about this liquid you know at the top the velocity of the part of the particles of the liquid at the top will be zero that's why we can say that the kinetic energy at the top will be zero while the velocity of liquid particles coming out of this hole will be v that's why the kinetic energy at this part will be half rho v square and suppose that uh, the liquid is filled in this container up to a height capital h and this hole is at a height small h below the depth from the free surface from here to here you see so what this height remains that is equal to capital h minus small h right <clears throat> now you see using bernoulli's principle what uh, what we can write here p atm plus p atm this one plus zero because the kinetic energy at this part will be zero since the particles of the liquid lies on this part have no velocity they are at rest that's why the kinetic energy is zero now let's calculate what is the potential energy of the particles at this point you know that because the liquid is filled up to a head h and it is of density rho that's why the pressure energy per unit volume or oh sorry uh, that means potential energy per unit volume will be given by rho g and capital h now this is equal to now you see at this part the since both are open to the atmosphere so pressure at this part will also be equal that that means p atm p atm plus since this liquid is coming out of this hole with velocity v that's why its kinetic energy will be given by half rho v square plus now what will be the potential energy at this point so if we look at the potential energy at this point you know what we can write here the potential energy at this point is due to the liquid of height h minus h that means capital h minus small h so what we can write here is rho g h minus small h now you see p atm p atm from both of the side can be cancelled out similarly rho rho and rho cancelled out what remains here g capital h equal 
v square by 2 plus this will be multiplied g capital H minus g small h. Now you see again this g h g h will be cancelled out and if this g h goes on that side and 2 also goes there what we get v square equal to g h or simply we can write under root 2 g h where this velocity which is the velocity of the liquid coming out of this orifice or fine hole is called velocity of efflux e double f l u x velocity of efflux right now what did the Tolsley say Tolsley said that the velocity of efflux is equal to the velocity of liquid falling freely from any height now so now suppose we have any liquid drop falling from a height here from height small h and you know that since the liquid is falling freely the initial velocity will be zero then if we use equ uh, third equation of motion what we get v square equal u square plus 2 g h since u equals zero here so what we can write v square equal 2 g h or simply v equal under root 2 g h and now if you look at the previous equation that was equation number one and this is the equation number two we find both equal that's what the torsoli told torsoli says that the velocity of efflux will be equal to the velocity of liquid falling freely from any height h so that is the torsoli's theorem i hope student you understood thank you so much that's all for today's video thank you